Quarters, general quarters, all hands, man your battle stations. The purpose of this how-to video is to show you how to construct K-type shoring using a carpenter square. Step one, gather and identify your tools. Carpenter square, grease pencil, carpenter's pencil, tape measure, and saw. Wood shoring and strong bags. Step two, identifying the parts of a carpenter square. You have the tongue, the heel, and the blade. Always ensure your tongue is held in your left hand and you're getting your measurements marked in the twelfths. Step three, for the purpose of this video, the strong backs have already been put in place on this individually dog watertight door. First, to determine the rise, you go from the deck up to the center of your closure. This measurement is reading three, six, three feet five inches. Step four, mark the tongue of your square for your rise measurement. As you can see, three foot, each increment is in a twelfth of an inch. Go down to the fifth hash mark. Step five, this is how to perform and to get your uncorrected rung. You go from your anchor point all the way down to the distance of your closure. We are at five foot one inch. Step six, subtract the thickness of any strong back, shoulder plate, an additional half inch for your wedges to get your corrected run. Step seven, mark your corrected run on the blade of the carpenter square. Step eight, find the center of the shore. We know this is a true four by four shore. We place the heel of the carpenter square at the tip. Make sure it's flush on the bottom. Draw a line all the way down. You get two inches on both sides to give you the center of the shore. Step nine, find the overall length of your shore. We have our first carpenter square where we noted our rise and our run measurements. We'll grab a second square, line up the heel to your rise, slide your square up till they intersect, and we have an overall length of five foot, nine inches. Step 10, mark out your first cuts. With your hand, your left hand on the tongue side, place your carpenter square on your shore to where both your tongue, or your rise and your run intersect the lines. Draw that line. At that point, with still holding on to the tongue with the left hand, slide it down to where it intersects on the apex of the square, the heel, perfect 90. Draw that line. These will be your first two cuts. Step 11, make your cuts. Step 12. Using a tape measure, measure and mark the total length of your shore, which is five foot nine inches. Step 13, performing the cuts on the opposite end. Always remember to stay on the same side of the shore when conducting this cut. With your carpenter square tongue in your left hand, slide down to the very end where you marked off your cut for your run, which was five feet nine inches. Using your marks on your carpenter square, line them up to where they intersect. Draw your lines. Tongue still on the left hand side. Bring your tongue around 90 degrees. Cut it. And these are the cuts you'll be performing. Step 14 with your bottom leg of your shoring in place, use it, follow the exact same procedures to determine the length of the rise and the run for your top leg. Step 15. After your shores are in place, set your wedges. Set the shoring watch. 